Hey guys, I'm Jacqueline. And I'm Marcella. And today we are here to talk to you guys about five TV shows that have changed our life. Recently, we were kind of like just talking about like past TV shows that we've watched. There are a couple that stand out and I feel like they are like, that seems like silly. I'm sure to some of you like, oh, like a TV show like changed my life, but it has like oh TV God, shows yeah. and movies like they could change your life I because think stories in general whether yeah. it's a book whether it's a mm -hmm. movie whether it's tv like i think stories they resonate with people and especially that's at why... different points of your life like depending like how, how yeah. old you are when you watch a certain thing or yeah like that, i just yeah. think it's really nice to look back on and just like remember like i feel like you could remember certain moments in your life where you watch a certain thing or maybe you were going through a really hard time yeah. and you remember that story and like for us i mean there's tons of stories like there's books there's movies but right now we're just going to focus in on tv shows yeah. and like think about is, certain pivotal yeah. moments for us where like certain shows like really resonated and impacted our life and yeah we just thought we would share this with you and see if any of these also resonated with you guys we grew up on buffy yeah. like when we were little buffy was who you wanted to be when you grew up like i remember like i like idolized buffy and buffy and angel were like and then Buffy and Spike, like it was just like guys, we were shipping, <laughs> we were shipping like before, before, before we before even shipping knew was what, even a thing. Before we even knew what shipping was, before anybody even called it shipping. Yeah, and like uh -huh. Buffy was just somebody who was so like, she was so funny and she was so badass, and I feel like the way that she would handle like problems and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like I just think everybody. She is a great role you model. You just for wanted to be Buffy, a young girl, yeah, for sure. Yeah, and she was definitely like our first a role model I would definitely say and yeah. I think that she um was somebody that like when you're little like I remember we used to play Buffy like we yeah really, that was when I tell you we wanted to be Buffy like we like, literally guys, like, you don't understand like <laughs> we had this game where like I would come over and mind you this is like seven eight year old Jacqueline yeah <laughs> so I used to come over to Jacqueline's house and we watch Buffy and then we would play Buffy so basically one of us would be the slayer and then the other one would be the vampire and like I had like a leather jacket, had a leather jacket and like a stick, whoever was was stick outside like who, no it was an actual steak I think yeah it like, was I don't something know where from you, outside no I think you it was an actual steak I don't think it was steak. <laughs> So she had like a steak and like she had a leather jacket. So I like did. whoever was the slayer wore the leather jacket and like we would take we turns would, and we would fight. We would, like, we would physically like, kill each other. Like, literally, no, like, like when I tell you, would be in her like in the living room like punching. Like, we would literally like we would have literally, like like fight and like yeah. I remember the thing. The whole thing was like. Um, obviously Buffy, like, is a great fighter, and, like, she would kick, so I remember yes. we used to, like, test, like, how high How high kick. the kick can go. Yeah, like, if this is what oh we Oh my did god, we no, like, we, like, I remember, like, I used to, like, wear my hair like Buffy did, yeah. like, I think that, and then, it was such a fun show to watch, and, like, I still, like, we always go back to Buffy, like, oh, I yeah. can't even tell you how many times how we've rewatched re that. It. It's kind of, like, I feel like all of these shows that we're gonna talk about are, like, comfort shows, like, it's just, like, mm -hmm. familiar to you, the characters are your friends, like yeah. it's that kind of a thing and yeah yeah buffy was, buffy was yeah, definitely huge in our life a huge part of our life yes <laughs> i remember smallville was on on we were, fridays was on and we used fridays. to go it was on thursday at first and then it switched to friday yeah it was switched to fridays but once like the season we want i want to say that this was like middle school era. we're kind of going in order actually so buffy yeah. was like we watched Buffy when we were younger. We like got introduced to Buffy. Now we're back in like the teen. Yeah, this like, is more like middle school. Middle school. Yeah. yeah, around like middle school era. So Smallville, Smallville. We used to. I remember we used to like because we grew up skating. So we would have like yeah. lessons on at the rink, and then mm -hmm. it would be like, oh, we oh have to God, go, go watch Smallville, Smallville like after <laughs> skating lessons, and it was like always really yeah. exciting every week. And yeah, just, yeah. Like I, I feel like that's another one that I like rewatched so many yes. episodes. And like I remember, like I used to go on like Krypton site and like watch like wait for like the synopsis of certain yes. episodes and like the stills would come out like I feel like that was probably like the first show that we were like heavily into like that fandom and we used to like watch like yeah like spoiler things that would like, come yeah. out yeah and like oh my god Clark and Lois were Guys, like OTP another, another one that we were like, shipping I yeah. used to read like fanfic of them like I was so obsessed with and Clark that was and a Lois. slow burn that was yes, probably one was. of our like for like first like slow yeah. slow burns I would say yeah I mean like I read Buffy fanfic as well but I remember like yeah. Clark and Lois like that's 
slow burn, like building that and like waiting for it's them season, to get together, season, wait for, season, for him yeah. to like tell her like that he was the blur, and that, yeah. that was also the first superhero show that we watched, and I feel like that was obviously what kickstarted it for definitely the, yeah the entire like CW now the way it is today I, the way that the CW is today would not be the way it is without Smallville like, exactly, exactly Smallville was the first superhero show and I feel it's like a really important show and that started our love for superheroes I actually think. yeah like, I think, I think that that started us being like I mean like I think we we always like superheroes but I remember that was like our introduction to like full so, like, on actually like like, like being being obsessing. Into it. <laughs> yeah for yeah. sure wow and and we got introduced, I remember, to like Green Arrow was on there. Like they brought other mm -hmm. heroes in it and Yeah, that really expanded yeah. our like our knowledge, our I think, knowledge and like of kinda like the universe. Like we wanted more of it, yeah, yeah. For sure. And I think that um Smallville is like it was it's our favorite superhero yeah, show. Like all, obviously always. if you guys know we we love the Flash, Arrow, like, yeah. Supergirl, like all but the small lot, but like number Smallville one. <laughs> is always has a special place in our heart. Yeah. And yeah, we love it. <laughs> What I've been trying to be lately. One Tree Hill was a huge show in our lives. Guys, life. One like, Tree Hill. And it's still, like, all these shows are still, like, our favorite shows, like, ever. I think One Tree Hill out of one is, Tree like, Hill. one of my most watched shows. I can't tell you how many times we rewatched. I remember Marcella yeah. came over, What we were having a sleepover, and she brought season one on DVD. We watched and the whole season. We watched season, the yeah. entire thing. That was like, back when we watched, like, the discs. We the disc, the yeah. Player. And we literally, like, we just watched the, all of season one in, like, 24 hours. Like, not even. Yeah. Like, it was, like... We binged One Tree Hill. It did not take long. And it was so much fun. It like, was so amazing. One Tree Hill yeah. is the kind of show where, like... I love it. I think yeah. that when we watched it in high school, it was, like... It was important because we were in high school, so yeah, it was like we, we were related to like thing like yeah. issues and stuff. And I feel like like the characters are just like oh, the amazing, in there. and like the, the quotes, quotes, like the writing is so writing. so good on One Trail, guys. The like writing. if you haven't seen One Trail, like just you watch have it. to watch Please it. Please watch it. You it's have to just... watch it. Like One Tree Hill was something that like the quotes you'd always like fall back on. Like yeah. those were like we had like quotes of that like on our wall. Like we like Nathan Scott. Like I was in. I am like nailing. Yes, Nelly. Oh my that god, Nelly. Yeah. I read Nelly fan fiction. Mm -hmm. Like I like I'm still like obsessed with them. Like I loved um that entire story. Like how everything like that that show is perfect, you guys. Like the writing in that show and like the so nostalgia good. feel it gives you when they become older and they become adults. And I just think in high school, like watching that and like I remember everybody in high school watched One Trail. Yeah, like, One Trail was like the thing to watch. Like everybody was talking about it at school. And Lucas Scott, like my my dream is I know the river court's like not there anymore, but like I still wanna go on like I wanna, that yeah. I wanna go on like the tour that they go and they they show you like Karen's Cafe. Well, we they show you the plan. house. Yeah. Like we wanna plan um, we wanna going go to North Carolina. To see North Ca the North Carolina One Trail convention. We would love to yes. do that. I we're would gonna probably cry. We're gonna look into doing that because I feel like that's just something we need to do. And yeah. like, it's just, we would love to do that and to meet them, it would be amazing. So yeah. we're gonna try to do that. And I remember we yeah. saw at BookCon, we were able to see Chad Michael Murray, and it was like, yeah, oh panel. my god, like, this man is gorgeous, and we were just like freaking out. Like, I don't even know what we would do if we'd met the cast. Like, I want to do that so Hopefully bad. we'll find out. It'll okay. happen. <laughs> Now this is college, Jacqueline and Marcella. Guys! <laughs> this is really important to us, first of all, because Team Wolf was the show that, like, really got us started with making reaction videos. Yeah. Um, so that kind of, like, opened up, that, like, kind of, like, really got our YouTube going and yeah, really and got us involved in, like, that fandom and fandoms in general, I feel like, on the yeah, internet. Yeah, on and Tumblr. Tumblr. Yeah, Tumblr like, was very big. Styles and people. Lydia. Like, I remember, like, Stidia being huge on Tumblr and, like, being it, like, when we would watch it, like, yeah. live, like, seeing, like, the fan response, like, as we would watch it live, like, it was just so much fun. And, yeah, Teen Wolf, we, it's so important to us because that's what started our YouTube channel yeah. in the way that we would be freaking out and we would be like 
it's really funny, let's just record us. Like, that's literally how yeah, it we started. Kind of just, we were, well, just we were like, like, maybe other people freak out too. And yeah. they'll like, like to see this. And but that's, that's basically what happened. Yeah. That's what happened, yeah. And I think that this is the first fandom, the first ship, Stidia, that ruined my life. <laughs> like, honestly. I mean, yeah, first, that, like, ship where, that like, was hard. This is the first ship that I ever experienced where, like, I would die for them to get together. Yeah. Like, I would do anything. So it, this is the first, like, ship where we, like, flipped out over, like, we did, like, stupid things. We made a banner. We had hats. Oh, my God. We, yeah, like, no, that was And then Bilark, was And then Bilark, like, comes around later on in this video. Don't worry. But, like, Teen Wolf, yeah, it was a, it's a really, really special show to us. Yeah. Um, and I think that cast is just amazing as yeah, well. Yeah, we got to meet Tyler Posey, we met Dylan O'Brien, we met Holland Rowan, so we met, Tyler like... Tyler Hecklin. Yeah, we met, like, a, the, like, a lot of the main cast, yeah. which, um, we're really, really grateful that we so met them. I'm so grateful to do that. But, yeah, like, but I feel journey. like... <laughs> yeah, like, I just always go back to, like, our Teen Wolf videos and how, like, poor quality some of them are and how I we know. would record, like, on we're a cell so, We're so excited, though. And it's just like the most like exciting thing like and it was all about like discovering other people that were like us and mm -hmm. we obviously never imagined our channel would grow to this or anything like that but yeah i think that yeah we have such a fun we just have fond memories of dying over teen wolf and mm -hmm. talking about it with all of you guys and like having like chats about it and yeah it's just such a and it's fan and like fiction. jeff davis like that's the first executive creator who like we hate like we cursed because like, he wouldn't make because he things. wouldn't give and us and then jason rothenberg comes around later on <laughs> <laughs> very very similar yeah i know to our similar. situation <laughs> similar to like what we experienced with Team Wolf yeah. with like just like not with like bait and not yeah. getting not getting what should have happened seasons ago. Naturally, but I think but I think Jason's gonna beat Jeff somehow. Somewhere yeah. we're passing yeah, season we're, six. Uh, we're even goodbye to season six. I so. guess it's a competition. <laughs> but anyway, but apart from that, the hundred has been an amazing show in our yeah, life. And now this is like a little bit after Teen Wolf obviously. Obviously this is like now this yeah. is recent. But I think the hundred has really changed our life because it's given us so many amazing opportunities and to connect with you guys. Like yeah. and the cast has just been amazing. Like the way like mm -hmm. Eliza talks about like body positivity and like Bob with like mental health. And I just think that like the memories that we have from the 100 fandom, like, even when the 100's over, like, I'm just gonna look so fondly at everything because yeah. it gave us all of you guys and it gave us, like, It gave us amazing friends. friends. Like, like, guys, I don't think you realize, like, like, most of our friends are made up of people that we've met through being in fandoms. Yeah. Like, all of our friends that we have, we met, like, through the 100, the 100 and, and, like, Twitter. Um, going and to, like, the, the going to Boston every year at Conageddon is, like, our highlight of the year. Like, yeah. it's just incredible. And yeah. to be able to go there and like talk to the cast, and, and like, like the cast knows us, and that just means yeah, like, so like much. Bob just like, watching our videos, like it's it's just amazing. It's incredible, yeah. and I feel like it's just like going to those conventions and even having so many people come up and like know talk our, vid know our, our videos, videos has like, been like insane to us. That's and, crazy, yeah. and we are so grateful for all of you guys, and we wish that we could hug you all like all yeah. the time and hang out with you. But like, it's just so amazing that like we were able to like like all of you guys watch our videos and you guys have stuck with us and we've been there for a while doing these videos to the hundred yeah. and it's just opened up like so many doors to us and it's been incredible to watch it's that show been grow. amazing yeah. yeah like i think we've watched that show like i remember watching it we caught up for the season two finale yeah of it and i remember like we were in college and we like raced home from class. We were like, oh my god, like the hundreds on. Yeah. And I still remember, I still remember Jason's tweet. He said, Clark's lips are gonna touch something. Yeah, that man. I still, I still remember, remember that. that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I still remember that. And we're still here, guys. We're still in this fandom, still kicking. So, so I have hope. I, just, I don't know what that says about us, but. <laughs> but I just, like, have, we just have so many fond yeah. memories with the cast as well. And I, I'm gonna make me cry. Like, like, I feel yeah. like this is something that, like, we'll remember, like, forever. Yeah. And, like, we've had, we've made friends through the show that we're gonna have forever. Like, we've just, it's absolutely changed life like all of these shows like this is we just wanted to like talk about this with you guys yeah. and like talk about all like our experiences like what with tv and like i guess it kind of like explains like why we do what we do like why do we talk about tv shows so much because we're attached because we love because stories exactly and we love stories we love mm -hmm. 
watching the We love characters. talking to other people about them because it's, yeah. like, that person understands you. Because, like, a lot of time in, like, real life, when you talk to somebody about a show, like, some a lot of people don't watch stuff like no. we do. Like, and, like, yeah. you guys do. Like, they don't... They'll watch it, but like it won't like affect them. Like they won't talk about it. They won't think about it after. I don't know they won't, how. <laughs> they won't think about it for days after, like we will, and like analyze every little thing. And like yeah. that's what makes it fun. And like that's what, that's what, that's why it's so amazing to be in this fandom and to talk to like everybody yeah, else about it. I think that's what's amazing about fandoms in general. Yeah. Like I think that's a whole separate video. But yeah, I was just like, thinking that's a good video to talk like, about that too. Yeah. Yeah. Like I just think that fandoms is just like your community, and it's where you can be yourself, and it's where you feel the most comfortable and like at home home and all of these shows have just been so important to us and we wanted to share that with you guys and obviously yeah. there's movies and books that, that are just as important to us which like we this, might do that maybe, maybe we do that too, but this is just like tv shows that we wanted to go mm -hmm. through because you know me and marcella we've been best friends since we were seven years old so we grew up watching tv together so i just think it was really fun to kind of look back at like when we were little to like now like yeah. it's just amazing let us know what tv shows um are important to you and have yes. changed your life we'd love to know some of your stories like was there a show that you were struggling during your personal life and it, it the story reached out to you we'd love to know all of that and yeah, yeah, let us know if any, any of these shows impacted your and, like, life. You guys have memories with these shows too. Let us mm -hmm. know. And yeah, be sure to also check out our description box below where all the social media is listed. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye.